So uh, in open source, what are we looking out for specifically when we're using such, uh, such, such uh, techniques? We, uh, for, first of all, of course, you get a visualization of who the contributors are and, and the contributions they are making. Uh, this, this has some implications in the area of, uh, especially if you're studying uh, governance in open source communities, uh, trying to decide you know, how, to, how to evolve the governance structure. These are, these are issues where uh, uh, that can be assisted with, with a better visualization of what's going on in the first place, uh, rather than, than having just intuition you know, or observation. Um, understanding the communication networks, understanding who are the key communicators within the networks, uh, who are the knowledge brokers within the network that help to, uh, to, to link otherwise disparate groups together, um, and also to integrate peripheral members. Uh, through the network, you might be able to identify individuals that are very active in contribution but may not be linked in. Uh, might be something you want to do something about, might not be, but, uh, but that information might be valuable. Training and informing new members as well, if this information can be presented in, a, in an easy to understand way, uh, you can use it to, to, as a quick uh, way of letting new members more easily discover who is who, who's doing what, and so on. So, uh, but in doing this research specifically, I, I try to uh, investigate what whether or not uh, it can be applied to wikis, as well as a mailing list, which is traditionally what is done uh, in the literature. Um, more and more, we have organizations, use, uh, especially open source organizations, using wikis as part of their, their communication uh, medium for, for all sorts of documentation, uh, project work, and so on, not just the mailing list. So uh, what differences are there, and uh, what are the challenges?